going on guys this is Jimmy Bailey from PlayNationPlus.com bringing you the uh, the Vita hookup to your PS4 I just uh, just was able to get my Vita back from a friend I had let him borrow it for a trip he went on he did just return so I was able to get my Vita back I just walked through the door I have it hooked up it's charging so I figured while I charge it I'd make a video step by step showing how to hook it up I have heard it's extremely simple I have not done it myself yet so let's go through it together. All right. So I'm on the Vita screen, the main menu. I'm going to go to the PS4. You see the PS4 link button in the bottom corner over here. Click that. Click start. All right. Now it gives you two options: remote play or second screen. Okay. I'm gonna click remote play. All right. Now when I click remote play. It's just like setting up your mobile app from your phone. If you've done that, it asks you for a pin. So I'm going to go into settings on my PS4. Uh, I imagine. Oh, PS Vita connection. Perfect. All right. Enable. Yes, I want. Yes, I want that connected so it can control. I do want remote. Okay, so I add device. Now I got to type that pin in. So I click here, and it gives me the option of where to type in the pin. Okay, so now I click one, nine, zero, three, two, six, one, one. I click enter. Now I click register in the bottom corner. And now it's pairing devices. I do apologize. I will get a better camera if I ever have to do this again. Okay, brought me back on my. Brought me back on my PS4. Okay, now it says registering. Now it says checking environment. On my TV, it says Jimmy has connected using remote play. Still has this screen though. So let's. Oh! There it goes. I see it. Oh! Oh, wow! I wish I had a better camera. Another camera to show you guys. I am controlling everything on my Vita. If you give me one sec, hold on. I'm going to move this camera so that you guys can see what I see on my Vita. It's not going to be a great image. I'm going to have to use one hand. So please, please bear with me. Okay. All right. So this is my Vita, obviously. All right. So we're on my Vita. This is the PS4 screen. I'm seeing the same things I see on my TV. Okay. Now you see both screens. Now you see there is slight latency. All right. So not much. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna start Need for Speed. Now, if you see latency, the only thing you're seeing is my capture kit. The latency is not noticeable from my television to my Vita. Okay, you guys, the latency you're seeing behind you, behind this image, is my television screen. But if I do this, that's your Vita screen. All right, and that's your TV. I want to show you how there's no latency, so you believe me. Okay, watch. I want you to see how they load at the same time. See how there's the way it pulses? It's only a little bit off. It's a very, very good image. I wish you could. I wish I had a better camera for up close. It's uh, it's not. I mean, I'm using my iToy, my old iToy camera. Um, and the white Vita doesn't help. <laughs> Once the load screens, I just want to show you guys how the image does look. Okay. So that's actually a pretty great image. Um, I know it looks super blurry for you guys. On, For my eyes, though, I mean, it looks amazing. It does not look small at all for me. I mean, uh, it does not look uh, blurry at all. It's just my camera. I need you to, <laughs> I need you to believe me. 
All right. So let's show you how. Now the only worry I have is I'm going to try this with kill zone later. Is obviously on my dual shock, you have the R2. Well, there's no R2 buttons on the Vita. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. But okay. So look at we got the same image on both screens. Okay. I know this is hard. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. But we got the same image. Obviously, I'm using one hand. I can't steer. <laughs> okay, let me get you. Let me just straighten it out. Sorry. I know this is horrible. Okay. So, I want to show you guys. I know this is a, a bootleg amateur video, but I want to show you guys just a little bit how, how much of it is. Yeah, I'm not steering, so we're gonna crash. I wish you could see the graphics. The graphics are pretty nuts for being on a, on a handheld. There's not much latency. I don't notice any, to be honest. I really don't. I really don't. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. Now I can press, can I press the home button? Let's see. Okay, and it brings up this bottom menu live area. That's for the Vita live area. I know that. Um, oh, is this touch? Oh, oh, and it brings me right back to the home screen. Is this touch? Okay, no, it's not. I want to know, does it control everything on my Vita? So if I'm on my Vita, can I go to... Can I watch Twitch? That would be awesome. I don't know, I mean... I guess if you have to use the bathroom and you're going to be there for a while, this would work perfect. Now, for me, this wouldn't work. This isn't something I'd use all the time because I do live by myself. I am single, so I don't fight with for the TV with anybody. But if, uh, if you do have a girlfriend that you're living with or family that you have to share TVs with, this would be awesome. You can just turn your PS4 on and control it through your Vita and have the screen right here I do want to try this out um cuz I watch a lot of Twitch I stream to let you know make sure you subscribe to my channel I do give away twenty dollars in PSN Steam or Xbox money every Sunday okay you can do whatever you want on the Vita I'm actually super surprised with how awesome this is pleasantly surprised I didn't think it was gonna be that great I thought it was just gonna be lackluster but it's actually really impressive. I'm super surprised. But all right, guys. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I give away twenty dollars every single week to uh, PSN, Steam, or Xbox. The winner's choice. So what I do is you subscribe once. You're entered every Sunday. So what I do is pick one random subscriber every Sunday. I message them, tell them that they have won, and they get to choose whatever they'd like. A $20 gift card to you can be PSN Xbox Steam could be iTunes Google Play whatever you'd like Amazon basically anything I can buy a card for at my job which is GameStop I'm assistant manager so any anything I can buy a card off the rack for you can have alright guys thanks for hanging out come back and check out more videos please and I hope you enjoy the setup